Hello lovely colorist and artist. This is Mandy here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I have a massive studio haul or coloring and art supply haul. Um, it's going to be in two parts because I have been collecting a lot. Plus I've had done some emotional buying um, in this time period. I did a lot of thrifting and hauling Dollar Tree stuff so let's get into it. Now the first item I bought is an Ahuhu battery operated electric eraser. Um, I haven't used one, I just use a normal plastic paper one and um, this was actually really cheap on Amazon. It was like seven bucks and it takes a couple AA batteries. It came with several different refills, a little brush and stuff. I thought I've seen a lot of other colors. Artists use this to speed up their erasing process, make it more accurate, um, erase pan pastels, um, color pencil a little bit easier than using a standard Prismacolor plastic eraser. Um, or um, mono, Tombow mono, which this is very helpful with an erasure shield if you need to erase very intricate small spart spots, not sparts, uh, for your highlights in your artwork. So that is the first thing. this back in here. I hope everyone is doing well um, and staying cool. We've had a lot of heat here in the Midwest and all over the United States and I know people over in the other world have these. So I picked up this dot bullet journal to help me jot down video ideas, uh, keep track of coloring pages. I had to take some pages out because um, it is used. I picked it up at the thrift store. Someone must not like the style. So I grabbed this to kind of keep track of things. Um, I keep a couple journals around. I keep track of supply lists, video ideas, write things down. The next thing I got is Daler Rowney uh, Low Odor Thinner. Um, mineral spirits to blend color pencils and stuff out so I am actually super excited about using this and trying this out with my color pencils so that's that another thing that I was really excited was I was in the thrift store I kind of unboxed it I found this watercolor kit for a dollar so I'm like well that's great so it's got, it came with a book with easy watercolor techniques. Um, I'm always interested in watercolors. I'm just going to kind of do a quick flip of this um, and working on some more stuff. I haven't gotten into my watercolors because I'm still buying, you know, like masking fluid, some other stuff, trying to get 100% cotton paper and things like that, but I thought this would be good to work on some stuff and even when I use um, my art journals and things like that. Um, it also came with a pad of paper with a medium tooth. I don't believe it's cotton. It was, there were some sheets used so I took those out. Um, uh, so I'm going to probably use this with my pastels, play around, maybe do some colored pencil drawing on there. Um, because it's got the medium tooth. I prefer to use 100% cotton with watercolor versus wood pulp or cellulose. It came with a little paint thing which is always good to have a little extra palettes. Um, it also came with two drawing pencils so, which is nice. It came with some um, watercolor pencils which I don't have any. I have not swatched these out. These are all pretty much basic colors that you can mix with. 
one pencil had the wood splitting but if I kept it in the pencil extender I would be able to sharpen it and stuff and keep the pencil together. It also came with two small tubes of watercolor paint. There were only two of them that were open and I thought well that's a steal. Um, I could fill up a couple half pans that I have and um, expand out my palette and stuff to try it out. So for a dollar I mean the only thing that was missing were the brushes but I have plenty of brushes here that I didn't it didn't really matter and the brushes were probably um, craft brushes you tend to get you know kind of crappy paint brushes in these kits so yeah it was kind of neat so and it will help get me started you might see me do some watercolor stuff on the channel as I get you know moving along or using watercolor pencils in my coloring books like that. So. The next is some handwriting practice paper book for working with my slant board um, and some calligraphy and some handwriting um, to actually improve some line orientation stuff that I have going on. Um, so it was used, picked it up for a couple dollars at the thrift store, pulled out some pages. I mean, I have some lettering books, art books that I picked up that I want to practice with, but I don't want to practice in the book, so I was like, this is great. And I got it for like $2.99. So yeah, there's that. I also grabbed the Astro Bright cardstock paper, so it's got like Huss, Grocer Craft. Uh, craft, honeycomb, concrete, and stone. I tend to do a lot of work with my color pencils on darker tone paper and um, I've been wanting to try the Astro Bright uh, cardstock. Um, so, and it's actually um, relatively inexpensive. It's a 176 GSM and it's a 65 pound paper. So, and it can go through the printer, so um, I eventually want to scan some coloring book pages and print on this cardstock and try them out um, just to play around with some different techniques that you normally wouldn't be able to do in the actual book itself because of the paper quality. So there's that. Yeah. Don't mind the noon whistle going off. I got the window open. So, um, my next big thing is this scrapbook um, paper container. I like to travel with some art supplies, and obviously this is great to store the haul stuff, but I like to be able to contain, I have inks, paints, and all kinds of things, so if I go somewhere, spend the night, and I want to uh, bring art with me, I can pack it in this and know that things will not get all over my paper, my uh, other things that I don't want to get ruined with art supplies. It's nice. So, and I filled it with a bunch of stuff. So I'll open it up here and get how grooving and showing off. Crap! I forgot to turn off the fan. So hopefully. When I watch the playback, it won't be too loud on the video. <laughs> and if it is, I'm really sorry. Um, I can't edit it out, and I don't really want to reshoot because I, you know, I want to get all this stuff put away. So the first thing I picked up is these trading card pages for um, my alcohol ink swatches and stuff. And I'm gonna also do paint. So I've been making alcohol ink swatches to be able to put this in and talk about the different color, be able to, people could pick out their custom, you know, colors for tiles or custom colors for their alcohol ink paintings. Um, and it's just more easy to flip through. So I, for right now I picked up two packs 
So um, I'm hoping to pick up a couple more the next time I'm in Walmart. So I grabbed these. Um, so the next thing I found at a thrift store is some stamp sets for my postcards. So you make um, really cheap. These stamps are normally $10 um, if you buy them new and I got them for $1.99 and I thought these were really cute. So this one says it's hip to be square and congratulations the cute little girl. Um, I don't know. Here. Might be, no. Be able to see that better. So I'm hoping to use these with my like I said, my postcards, adult color, uh, journaling, and things like that. Um, I send and make postcards for a group that I'm in. So, there is this one. Thought it was really cute. Then the next one is this girl. It says, talk nerdy to me. She's holding a pencil. And then the sentiment is, allow yourself to make mistakes. Life is dull without them. A pencil and a dream can take you anywhere. I thought those were just awesome sentiments. It just reminded me so much that, you know, our art can, you can make mistakes in art and learn from them and get happy accidents. Yeah. And then I also picked up this really cute butterfly flower one it says nothing is is worth more than this day and then one touch of nature will make the whole world kin and that was by William Shakespeare which I love Shakespeare's work and stuff so I was really excited to find these and I cheap $1.99 you cannot pass that up those are those stamp sets uh, I picked up some shrink wrap for the shipping because sometimes I ship artwork so I picked this up at Dollar Tree which is a great deal. And so moving on, moving on. Um, some other Dollar Tree items I grabbed were these spray bottles that I'm going to take my acrylic ink that I have and create custom ink sprays. So in art journaling and stuff that I can um, take this, make my own DIY, and then um, instead of spending uh, a lot of money on buying the distress inks and the spray stains, I can make my own with different colors of acrylic ink at a more cheaper price. So. That is that. Put those down there. Next item is I grabbed another can of Crimar varnish for my alcohol ink to protect it from yellowing and the UV and stuff. So that's always good to have on hand. Um, also from the Dollar Tree, I'm getting into washi. One of the other things too with washi, I want to start putting a little piece of washi tape on the end of my coloring books to tell me that I have worked. And isn't this the cutest? It may be dark. This is kind of a darker washi. It's got little cute there, macaroons on it. So to kind of let me know these are the books that I've colored in and the ones that don't have the washi would be the ones that I haven't colored in. Um, just to kind of help me with that. I also picked up some more uh, blending stumps um, and tortillions for the odor for the mineral spirits. Um, three more bottles of alcohol ink so I have Denim now. Terracotta, which is a beautiful orange and bottle, which is really nice. So yeah. So um, they come in a three pack. So 
I've already opened them so that I could swatch them for you. So yeah, and they're all from Ranger. So I also picked up um, some four by six blank index cards for my to back my postcards because these are the size that I do and creating. I'm actually behind because I've got um, some upcoming medical stuff that I have to deal with so I'm missing two months work I haven't sent out two months worth of postcards um, I also grabbed these at Dollar Tree school's coming out and I thought what a great way I could try some of their for expanding my crayon collection which I will actually be doing a page where I'm gonna be using so I picked up the metallic crayons pearl and then the neon so those I've got and my favorite start of my artist grade pencil collection dun dun dun, dun is the 12 set of the Faber-Castell Polychromos uh, oh gee I'm so excited I have some already that I had bought in over stock um, just to play around with and to test and look at these beauties so I am so excited to have these and to use um, I'm actually building my color pencil collection slowly with a, like the artist grade if they're open stock I'm buying a few here and there until I get the full set because I cannot drop $300 for the full 120 set right now. So yeah, so that's the favorite cast out. So, I have three minutes. Where did I put my sketchbook? So let's take a look at these colors. So. Mm, yeah. <laughs> What we'll kind of swatch down here in this corner? Here's this up. So, I have. So, we have black. They are so smooth, guys. I really love the fact and the pigment load. I'll bring it down so you can see. There. I haven't even sharpened these, which I should. Um, walnut brown. Well, these are just quick little swatches. Burnt Sienna. I mean, light green. I think there's a pigment load on these. Um, emerald green. I can't wait to do a full page with these. Um, phthalo blue. Light ultramarine. I mean, just immediately the smoothness, the creaminess, 
no scratchiness, no waxy buildup because these are oil based. Um, magenta. We got scar or deep scarlet red. Hope you this video isn't too boring and you have stuck through the whole thing. Um, dark cadmium orange. Ooh, look at that. And then we have cadmium yellow. I'm not going to swatch the white because we will never see it and I don't have any black paper. So, voila. I absolutely freaking love it. I am so excited. Like, ah, high school. Ah. Okay, guys. The last thing that's in here is a 12 set of the Prismacolor premieres. I am not a big fan of Prismacolors because of breakage, but I have been working with wax based pencils. I've been working on my, um, working with some budget. I've been working on my hand control pressure and everything. Thought, okay, school's coming out. Let's give these a try. These work really well in Amazon paper. I am working on getting different sharpeners to make sure that the breakage doesn't happen. Um, I've been using my color softs and learning how to use them correctly to layer without having a breakage. So let's take a look at these. These are also open stock, so I can build them up over time. So look at these OGs. So and can swatch them out here in the same section on that piece of paper. So I'll go back here. So we'll go over here. So this is grass green. And these are pretty smooth and buttery too. But the key to not cause all the breakage with the Prismas is soft pressure. Um, that's the same thing with the color soft too and like black widows but you can layer up color like this and these are kind of out of order because they got switch um, violet blue Apple green. Uh, orange. dark brown we have violet Black. Oh, Toby. 
Sorry, my studio buddy jumped off from his cat tree and landed in my bed where all my supplies are. Which, that's why I'm filming today, so I can get them all put away. Because they've been on the floor. Uh, Sienna Brown. Uh, True Blue. Crimson Red, there is a white in here but I'm not swatching it again, and then we have uh, Canary Yellow. So that's what's in the first introductory 12 set. So that's these second swatches. Mm, pretty vibrant too. Lots of pigment. Sorry guys. That's from my previous video that I recorded. We were looking at uh, uh, different adaptive drawing tools. Make sure you go over and spread some love with that video too. So. Um, I think we still have time. We can swatch out these crayons and take a look at the crayons. Let's see. We've got the, let's go into the neons. I can kind of take a look at, let's see. Let's see. We'll go on the back side of this page. So we've got Shamara. We'll go like this. Of course, it's Crayola and it's wax, so it's going to look weird. But We've got Shocking Pink. We've got Carnation Pink. Later lemon. Melon. Atomic Tangerine. Oh. Oh, that one broke. So we'll do the tear it down. I have a crayon sharpener too, but we'll tear some paper down. We have sky blue. And we have 
outrageous orange. Okay, now we'll go into the pearls. Those are pretty neon there. Toby, you'll be fine. I believe the pearls have like a pearlescent tint to them. So we've got oh, Caribbean Sea. Cloudy sky. A shooting star. Lavender silk. Black pearl. Now if you want to see me working with some of this, I like these crayons. I also have a Crayola 96 set of crayons, Color of the World. You want to see an, me do an uh, image in them? Please leave me a comment down below. I'd be happy to color the page just to show you how I use crayons. Um, I would love to do that and maybe do like a color and chat. So, like I said, let me know if that would be something that you interest. Apple Orchard. Orange peel. And then we also have last one hot cocoa. for the pearls and these are the pearls and finally we have metallics down here and we'll do the metallics. So we have blast off bronze. And then we have cyber grape. Steel blue.
Deep Space Sparkle. Big Dip Ruby. Robot Canary. Uh, Alloy Orange, or Alloy Orange, sorry. And Illuminating Emerald. That's these eight colors here. Check those out. And we're gonna go over here. I got some more swatching to do. Cause I have one more surprise. For this video. So I received a Happy Mail package from my friend Michaela and her son Adrian and it had three things in it and I am so grateful for her. She um, it keeps me company while I'm coloring and we have been able to share things back and forth to each other. Um, I will show the books that she sent in the next video but I wanted to get to these um, since we are swatching the crayons. So these are the Karen Dash Neo color ones. Um, I am like over the moon. I don't have any Neo colors. So, this is the 30 set that she picked up for me. And look at these beauties. So, um, I am excited to have these to try them out, to work with them in mixed media um, and everything. And it's just so much fun. So, if you still stuck around, I'm gonna push them up aside. We are gonna swatch them on this side of the paper. So, here we go. Let's do this. So, this is. Um, doo -doo -doo. Doesn't have a color name. Lemon Yellow. Oh, guys, it's probably looking green on your screen, but <laughs> sorry. Lemon yellow. These are such a dream to work with. And then we've got yellow. I am in love. I can't wait to get the Neo Color 2s. Those are the water soluble pastels. These are wax and they are non um, water soluble. We got orange. Oh my word. Just look at these beauties, guys. pigment, the smoothness. Oh, I'm dying over here. I can't wait to use these in a coloring book in my art journals. We've got salmon, beautiful skin tone. Just a dream. We have Vermilion. Uh, 
Well, this is just quick swatching. I will swatch these again on my own um, and put them in order in my book here. So, Scarlet. I just wanted you to see these beauties. This just makes me so happy and so excited to have them. We've got Carmine. These are like grown up crayon, uh, fine art grown up crayons versus from Crayola. But don't get me wrong, Crayola crayons, they're like the OG for crayons. And per, uh, rose pink. Lilac. I really hope you've stuck around to see all this. This is first hand reaction to these babies. I mean, sorry this watch isn't ain't that pretty, but I'm just kind of doing them really quick here. Oh. Do, do, do. Periwinkle blue. Trying to go through uh, these pretty quickly here. I know swatching can get boring, but this brings me so much heaven, so much joy. Light blue, i so excited to have these. And it's my first ever Karen Dosh product and I'm just like ecstatic cobalt blue okay guys don't want to bore you out so we'll just stop there so but the ones that I have swatched <gasps> look at that look at that look at the pigment load I can't, you just want to die and like, ah. oh, so much brighter. Like I said, I am so blessed to have friends um, to be able to color with, to hang out with. The nice thing is these are open stock. You can buy your Karen dot, you can buy them open stock. So if you need to replace one, one's always available. Bring them back into view. Oh, can we just melt over this? I'm just dying to play with these and take them. So, if you'd like to see how I use these, you want a tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to do that um, for you. Like I said, you just kind of shoot me a comment. If you'd like to see an art journal page, I would love to do that too, and everything else. So, I hope that you're having an amazing day, and I look forward to you on the next haul video and the next coloring video. And remember to be you, be kind, know that you're loved, 
and have fun playing and being creative. And I hope that you will stick around for the next video of all my coloring books and art inspiration books. And I look forward to talking to you all again and have a wonderful day. And don't forget to like, subscribe to this video. And I will see you all soon. Bye!